everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this message. For the collective, all swords are your signs, all elements, earth, air, water, and fire. Um, please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of the video, along with so much more of the information. For those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. There's plenty of proof out there, you guys. You can definitely look into reviews. You can look into past life videos for Q&As, whether here or in Facebook. Um, it goes years back. Uh, yeah, it's plenty of proof out there. You always want to look into the reader before you get a reading from them, okay? Um, but yes, uh, I do not use any cards or any tools for that matter, manner, okay? Um, and just know that energy is fluent, so this could be past, present, or future. Let's jump into this message and see what's going on. Spirit was pushing me to get a message. So, um, here we go. Show us a message, Spirit. Let's see. What is it? What is it that you want everyone to know? Okay. Message. Okay. Something that needs to be spoke on. All right. Something that needs to be addressed. Something that needs to be said. Okay. Here we go. And what else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? What is this pertaining to with this King of Swords? All right. A message. <laughs> a message. What is it? This is funny. All right. What else, Spirit? So, okay. All right. Some truth and clarity is coming out, and it's a celebration that could be coming in for someone. Someone could be spying to see some truth or looking in on something and seeing, um, seeing what they're looking for, okay? This uh, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could be highlighted in this message here, or Leo, okay? We have Cancer Energy, and we have Gemini. So, yeah, I don't know, you guys. Let's see more. Um, hmm. Not sure what to go. What's this message? What else, Spirit? Show us a message for this collective message. What else? What else? All right, ear. Good news. Exactly. Good news is coming in. Hallelujah. What else, Spirit? All right, a journey, either physical or mental. And what else, Spirit? Show us more. Bread. Period of prosperity and abundance is coming into you. And what else? Okay. Leg. So stepping into a new experience. Okay. And we have candle. You will be shown the way. You're being guided here. This could be news coming in from... Um, from maybe a doctor, maybe something is healing. This could be some type of authority figure. Um, yeah, you should you should accept valid criticism, disappointment in some affair. So I feel like this is two parties here because it's just two different energies. I feel like someone may not be uh, approving or liking the good news that you're receiving. So this person could be disappointed in some affair, which is that. Um, and they, this, whoever this is, is not so accepting to criticism. Someone that could be given valid criticism and cutting right through someone. Some, something is being cut right through. That's why that, that sun is shining. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So something is being highlighted here. Something is being shown. Someone is pointing something out and someone don't like it. What else, Spirit? Like, yeah, I see what you've been doing. I see what this is. I see what you need to do. I see why this is happening. Someone don't like the like that. All right, pineapple, reconciliation, um, good advice from a wise person. Exactly. Position of authority. Yes, that is. And boat, money or prosperity through an inheritance, winning or windfall. And one more, dagger, fear, worry, tense situations some of you could be fearful or worried about this about um the situation or this could be the person that is worried and concerned because of the outcome of the situation you're receiving good news celebration um truth and clarity is coming out about this um and someone is not liking it
Okay. What else, Barrett? I want to get this message. Show us more for this message, Barrett. What else? Please show us more. What else, Barrett? Please show us. Alright, racing, avoiding. Okay, racing, running, avoiding, searching online, looking for info. Looking for info for records. Mm -hmm. Someone is searching. Um, someone is running and avoiding. Providing some info or some records or some truth. <laughs> but the truth can't be hidden for long. It always comes out. What else, Spirit? Show us more. We have magnetic, unexplainable fool can't resist. Alright, so mm, show us more. Some of you could be coming back together with someone. That's that reconciliation. All right, you have irreconcilable differences, divorce, final. So there could be a split of divorce and someone is wanting to come towards you, okay? Or you want to go towards this person, okay? Take it however it resonates. We have pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected, <laughs> surprise visit. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. And what else, spirit? What else? Trash, someone is throwing out the trash, discarding, um, throwing out. Yeah, someone is releasing someone from their past, releasing this person that they were married to, okay? Someone is releasing the trash, and they have an unexplainable pull towards you, or you have an unexplainable pull towards them. We have plugged, tuned in, internet, connected, lost, ghosted, blocked, cut off. So some of you, this person either blocked you, cut you off, uh... When silent on you, it's because they could be in a marriage. Or, um, maybe you knew about this or you didn't, but they could be popping up because they're wanting you to know that, no, that's no longer. Um, I want you, okay? Um, or this is you. Some of you, this person is uh, ghosting and blocking and cutting someone off, uh, cutting this person off because they're desiring you. Exactly, lust. Sexual chemistry, someone is lusting after you, desiring you, they have to have you again, they know you are the person that they want to have a family with, they're obsessed with you, okay, so this truth is coming out, it's going to be a celebration, a reconciliation as well, um, some happiness, happy news, it could be with the air sign, a younger air sign, or it could be someone who's just very wise for their age, uh, it could be older, or just, um, they could have a, um, we have, um, wanting more, yes, okay, yes, unquenchable, someone is like, look, I, I, I can't, I need more, Lock box, closed in, track, frustrated, they feel frustrated in their current situation, they want out, they want to get back in, they want back in with you, we have a nightlife gamble, taking risks, Vegas, they wanted to go to Vegas with you, maybe you met this person in Vegas, something about Vegas could be significant to or you and this person, someone could have got pregnant, someone could have trapped someone due to a pregnancy, this could be how someone feel, possibly over drinks, alcohol, someone is realizing this, oh snap, alright, someone was like, wait a minute, you pregnant, wait, I was drunk, <laughs> realization, okay, that could be going on, that's what happened, that could have uh, caused a, a, a ending or a disruption between you and this person, they could have even got married, how drunk, I don't know, they went to Vegas, <laughs> you know how those stories go, it's real, alright, something like that could have happened, or someone is like, man, you trapped me, okay, triggers, name, car, place, you, they're triggered by you, they're thinking of you, everything reminds you of them, they're like, man, I have to have more, yeah, they want to separate from this person, we have a divorce, and then we have financial support, child support, alimony, government, this could be going on, um, what else, spirit, Hamster wheel, surviving daily hand, the surviving daily hustle. So someone could be, you know, they're trying to survive uh, on a daily hustle. We have children, young, child, childhood, playful. Uh, someone also could feel like something happened in Vegas, and now it caused some type of turmoil in their life due to a connection with you. We have gossip, petty, jealousy, and envy. Someone is taking notes. Someone is someone is realizing someone is just jealous. Like maybe it's something that's being said and they constantly think that's because they're jealous. Um, someone have unconditional love or someone love unconditionally. 
and someone is jealous of that love affair it could have been a love affair with someone and this person that they had a love affair with could have caused like i said the turmoil the shake up the state of connection whether um yeah someone is recalling the past thinking about the past reminiscing like wait we were happy together things were good what the hell happened and then some things come to mind uh past situation with someone that they were dealing, dealing with like wait a minute it started when i started dealing with this person hey that's when it started messing up hey yeah it's aligning everything everything is coming to to light okay realization now someone is wanting to talk they want to speak they want to communicate they're they're spying on you watching you they're trying to figure out when the best move when they should make a move towards you okay all right so yeah so expect some happiness this could whoever this message is for you're going to be happy about the outcome like you want you want this to happen like someone could be recalling like wait a minute i just seen yeah it's like someone recalling the past with someone that they were committed to. Like, wait a minute, how how did we get to this point? Like, things is really, um, mm -hmm. it's mixed messages. I feel like someone could feel like, um, no, mm -mm. it could be the third party, whoever this is that was trying to interfere and destroy. And let's see, let's get some confessions. Because I feel like it's someone that um caused a breakup and someone is realizing, wait, I didn't want to break up with this person. How and why did we break up? How did I let this uh, come about? Why did I let this happen? Like, yeah, a lot of realization is coming out, coming to someone. Someone want to speak up about this show us a message spirit for this message broke someone could be broke or feel broken without you show us more on this energy but if we did get we did get uh, surviving on the daily hustle sexually attracted to the same gender someone could be that could be um regretting leaving you i don't know how to however that go that could be like you or them no one compared to you i see that now what else? I miss you. Scorpio. So either someone is missing a Scorpio or a Scorpio is missing their someone. The air sign here that's watching. So it could be an air sign that's missing a Scorpio or Scorpio you're missing this air sign. Or it could be mutual. Okay. My pride is what took me so long. Exposed. Something been exposed, exactly. Some some truth has came to light. Something, maybe the truth of you, like just of your the, your brightness of who you are. Like maybe this person, you know, it was gossip, it was jealousy, right? And people could have been gossiping on your name, saying you're this, you're that, you're however. But this person seen it for themselves. They're like, wait a minute, why did I even believe that? Why did I even, you know, go for that? This is like really tough. Um, karmic is using divine masculine. It could be a karmic here that was using a divine masculine. This so that could be why someone is broke. Like, damn, I can never keep a dollar because someone keeps uh taking their money. A narcissist, this narcissist here. Someone could be a narcissist here. Um mother really loves you. Someone mother's really mother really loves you. Aquarius, someone could be an Aquarius here. Virgo, someone could be a Virgo here. Thief. So someone was a thief out of this bunch. Maybe a Virgo stole from a Scorpio, stole this person. Okay, so I do see a triangle. Okay, I do see three people here. So either a Scorpio could have been dealing with, with this Aquarius. Um and Aquarius could a Virgo could have stole the Aquarius from a Scorpio or Scorpio could have stole this Virgo from a person, however this go, okay? But it was a thief involved. Um, these could be placements, don't necessarily have to be sun sign. Um, karmic is trying to compete with you. This is what this is about. Competition. They really don't like you. They are reaching out to get info for me. So it could be a, a false friend that's acting like they're your friend, but they're really not your friend, okay? Toxic, toxic, 
toxic. Wow, thank you, spirit. Fake friends. Ooh, ooh. Exactly. Thank you so much, spirit. We have confused. Someone is confused. Like, how the hell did I miss out on the perfect person for me? This person was perfect for me. Like, what the hell? They went for strippers and prostitutes in Las Vegas. That's what happened. Or they was living la <laughs> Did I say that right? Oh, my goodness. Gossip. It was a gossip. And they was following the gossip, listening to the gossip. Why? Mm -hmm. They was they had too much too many too many drinks. They wasn't comprehending. They was not uh in re they wasn't grasping on to reality. They was in this la la land. I'm sorry I left. All right. So this person is sorry that they left. I keep dreaming of you. You keep appearing in their dreams. Maybe you dreaming of this person too. Um. So will this come back together? Is this meant to be? Let's see. Any other messages, spirit? Show us any other messages. So someone could be in the same sex. I mean, same sex. Well, that's possibly. But someone could be um, could like both sex. Show us a message here. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, okay? No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This is done, done. This is done. Anything else? Wow. Stop playing with a spirit for sure, okay? We have empath, narcissist, being charmed or used, enable boundaries, girl with a snake. So like I said, it was a third party. It's girl with a snake. So that relationship is over. They can't interrupt this situation no more. This could have been a person who is sexually uh, sexually uh, attracted to the same gender. Um, could have came in between you and this person's connection. Some of you could be the person that you're dealing with. Some of you, you could be a sex, uh, attracted to the same sex. Like, this is however it resonates. We have X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, or abandonment. All right? Hmm. Anything else? And addiction. Someone is releasing addiction because this came out in reverse. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. So this person is releasing this, okay? These addictions. These addictions to alcohol. These addictions to sex. These addictions to dealing with unhealthy people like um, <laughs> these snakes, okay? Um, keys on a... Uh, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Exactly, that's all this was. It was a one night stand. It wasn't meant to last forever. And this person was a chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. This person, if they're dealing with this girl with a snake or a boy with a snake, however this is, they don't want to let go. Okay, heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. I feel like once upon a time this was you, but you have came out of this energy. You're no longer feeling heartbroken. Normally, I do not take these cards in reverse, but I'm led to do that this time. So, apparently, that is how you feel. You were heartbroken in the past, but you, you've grown to, to deal with this, you know, heal from this, okay? You were deeply hurt. You realize, look, why should I stay hurt? Why should I stay sad and mope around? Mope around uh, about this situation. Let me go ahead and get myself together. Let me heal, okay? Let me let me heal and work on myself and gain my happiness back. And that's what you did. You you um end up finding things to do, moving on with your life. However, but it looks like this person is wanting to talk to you because they gain clarity and they want to heal this connection. They want to heal this relationship, or you know, they just want to talk to you again. Um, interested. Uh, conversing more, awaiting messages arise, text, call, email, who are. So this person is coming back. They want to talk to you. They will be talking to you. You will be receiving a pop-up message, okay? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. This person like you just as much as you like them. If this is someone that you don't like, this is not your message. This is someone that you do like. You just was hurt. You were hurt by this person because of their decisions, how they cut you off, or how this went left. And you're like, wait a minute. I thought we were fine. I thought things was good. Um, someone had to deal with their karmic, karmic relationship, okay? Karmic people, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you, all right? So this person had to go through some lessons in order, in order to come in. 
For some of you, like I said, you had to let go. You had to heal. You had to heal your heart. You had to heal your heart, not just from the situation, but this also helped you heal past trauma, past situations that you have went through. So now that you um, heal from all that and you come together with this person, you you'll be good. Okay, especially if this person did the work and it looked like they're trying to do the work by releasing this person. But this person is definitely a tracer. They're on them like white on rice. Okay, what else? Butterfly relationship evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child growth. That's what I just said. You and this person, you're going to evolve. You're going to come together and things is going to grow between you two because it's meant to be. It just, you know, this needed to happen. You know, everything happens for a reason. Um, this person had to deal with this karma, these karmic people or whatever. You had to deal with these karmic people, whatever. You had to gain a lesson out of this so it won't, um, so you can heal from, you know what? A lot of times when you go through these karmic lessons, uh, with certain individuals, it's also, it's also a healing phase to go through, um, due to your past trauma, due to past situations that you have been in. So, you know, it's, it's actually needed. And sometimes it's, it's, it could be very, very harsh. It could be very sad. It could, it could, you know, it could definitely hurt you in, in, in many ways. But you need to experience that because otherwise you would never heal. You would just hold on to what you have went through. But certain bad breakups or uh, bad situations, bad relationships, relationships, that really and the only the only reason why it's a bad breakup is because you really care for the person that's the main reason if you didn't care you're not gonna it's not gonna be a bad breakup because it's gonna be like all right deuces i'm out bye <laughs> the hell with you okay <laughs> but if it's if it's if it's someone you really care for it's gonna be bad it's gonna be hard to heal it's gonna be hard to you know believe that you went through this with this person or whatever but we have coffin endings bring new beginnings Growth, change, liberation, transition. Nice. All right, you guys, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this message. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, many, many.